If you've decided to change your WordPress website, Steve, you might be concerned. Will I lose my data? Will I lose everything that I've built? The answer is that there are many things that will change, but many things will not change at all. What are those things? I'll demonstrate in this video, and I'll also give you the right way to upgrade your website, Steve. Let's begin. So this is the website we'll be working with. It's a basic demonstration website I built so that I can demonstrate what happens when we change our website theme. And you can look at the home page here and I'll go to the dashboard now and this is the dashboard. I'll quickly demonstrate what is present on the website right now. So if I go to post section, we'll click on all posts. So you see just some beginner posts here. If we go into the pages section, we can see some pages being built. And we can also go into the plugin section. Let's check out the plugins. And you can see a bunch of plugins being installed. Let's also check out the media. So you can see we have some media also uploaded on the site. Now, you can see that right now I'm using the Astra theme, which is a very popular WordPress theme. But what happens if I change the theme? Let me show you that. But before that, there are two ways to stay safe during a website theme upgrade. The first is to have backups on your site. You can do that with the duplicator plugin. I've done some videos about how to create a backup. It takes a few minutes of time. I'll link that video in the description. Or you can use a staging website. A staging website is an exact replica of your main website. And the sole purpose of a staging website is to for you to experiment with whatever you like. So you can install themes, change the code, change plugins, change anything else. And you can eventually throw it away if anything breaks. So you can use either of these methods. You can take a backup, which will stay safe so that if anything goes wrong, you can always revert back or use a staging version, test everything there first. And if it goes well, then you can just use and replicate the same steps on your main website. All right, that's the right way to upgrade or change themes. Let me now show you what happens when we change actual themes. So to change my website theme, of course, I'll head into the appearance section. I'll go into themes and I'll go and search for new themes by clicking the add theme button. I'll search for a theme called Sydney. So I'll type it in. And this is the, the Sydney theme. It's a beautiful, fantastic, functional theme. Let's install it. And now the theme is installed on the site. We haven't still activated it. So if I go back here and I keep refreshing the page, you'll still see that the old theme is active. So installing a theme doesn't mean it's activated. And one thing you'll notice is that if I go back here, we can always check out a live preview. So if I click on this button, this is what will happen. So switching to the live preview or using the live preview gives us a view of the customizer using the new theme that we are using. In this case, it's the Sydney theme. So I'm seeing how my website will actually look like with using the Sydney theme. And of course, you can see that the con content is the same, but the home page is a little messed up. That's completely normal because the home page is one of those areas that will be affected with your theme change. So if you want to test out a theme before you install it and activate it on the main website, the live preview is another option to understand that, hey, this is how my themes is going to look like. And of course, with this, you can also understand that, hey, if I install this theme, I'll have to probably fix these things. For example, the home page will have to be fixed so that it looks good with the new theme as well. So let me exit the uh, customizer and I'll show you what else has changed and what else has not changed when we update the theme. So coming inside the dashboard, let's activate the Sydney theme as well. And let's see what does not change on the website first. So I'll go here and activate the theme. So the Sydney theme is now active on our site. Let's check out what things have not changed. So the first thing we can check out is our posts. So if you head to the post section, you will see all the posts still remain. That means no content is being lost on the post section. Let's also check out the media. And you can see the same media and even additional media has been imported with the theme itself. But the existing media, any images, any files you have loaded are not affected. Let's check out, also check out the pages section. And all the pages we had before are still present. Let's also check out the plugins. And we still have the same plugins installed on site. That means none of the content on your website is being affected. So all the posts you've written, pages you've created, plugins that are installed, and even WordPress users and settings that you have on your site will not be affected if you change your theme. So if you have certain permalink setup, if you have comment settings, reading settings, any other settings, they won't be affected. None of the users on the website will be affected. The only cosmetic areas that are affected are the layout of the pages and a couple of other things which I'm going to talk about now. So what does change when a theme is changed? The obvious thing is the design, which I already demonstrated, but also widgets are affected. So if you're using widgets on your sidebar, on your footer, in your menus, that will also change. 
And adding to that, the menu will also change because everything handles or every theme handles menus differently. So how your menus appear, where they appear will also be affected. And if you have a theme specific feature or short codes that a theme provides, then that functionality will be affected as well. Also, some plugins might have connections with themes that might also be affected. And if you have any custom code created for the sole purpose of modifying a theme, then that functionality might be affected as well. And of course, the home page layout and setup will also change. So let me show you some of these changes live and also demonstrate how you can mitigate those changes or the things you will have to do to ensure that your theme shift does not affect your viewers or customers. All right, let's head to the home page of the website first. So this is the new home page of the website after activating the Sydney theme. And you can see it doesn't look like uh, the theme or the home page that we had previously because the home page layout is one of the things that will be affected uh, why, when you change your theme. So make sure that you have a plan in place to create a new home page. Or if you can already create a home page previously to activating the new theme, you can just migrate that and select a new page as your home page. That's another faster way to do this. You might, might also see that the existing logo has changed because of the theme settings. You can change this from the customizer, make sure to change the settings. And something that you might notice is that the menus are also different. You have different widgets as well on the sidebar. That's again, based on the theme settings. So these are some things you will have to understand. What you can do uh, in the easiest way possible to ensure to or to make these changes is go to the customizer when you activate the new theme. Let me demonstrate. So inside the customizer, specifically with the Sydney theme, you can customize your header and footer using the header footer builder. So if you want to just change the header around, you can always just click or hover over here and click off one of these icons, the pencil icon, or you can always go into the header section and change things around. So if you want to use the header and footer builder, you can see this is the header footer builder. You can change the menus, change the location. So if you migrate from a theme to the Sydney theme, you'll have a lot more comfort and ease when it comes to designing your own header. And you can move things around. It's very easy. We have demonstrated that in, in a lot of other videos, but it's very straightforward on how you can do this. And of course, if you go into the logo settings, then you should be able to use your own logo because the logo is not lost since it's in the media folder already. But all you have to uh, ensure is that if you want to show the site title, then you can use that or remove that or just select your existing logo and that will be uploaded as well. Similarly, you can go to the footer and use the footer builder in the Sydney theme to change your footer around. And if you have any sidebar related setting, you can change that as well. For example, if I go back here, you can head to the main menu here and find the widget section here. If you go into the widget section, you can customize the current widgets that you see. So if I click the sidebar here, it'll open up the menus where you can see the same widgets that are placed here. Here you can customize the widgets if you want. And if you want to change the layout of the page directly, that means having no sidebar on the home page, you can always go back to the home page settings inside your WordPress admin area and go to the template. The Sydney theme ships with a couple of templates, which can be found here. You can see the Sydney canvas and the full width. So if you don't want the sidebar to show up at all, you can change the page template to full width and then the sidebar will disappear on the home page. And that's one way to customize your theme. So that's a basic overview of how to change your theme and what will change if you change your theme. As I mentioned, none of the content on your website will be affected. So pages, posts, settings, users, and even plugins that you've installed on your site will continue to function as they were, but some cosmetic things and theme dependent features will definitely change. So you might need to uh, change your homepage or redesign your homepage and double check if any of the content on your website is appearing in a way that you don't want it to. And if you want a step-by-step -step checklist of the exact steps you should take to update your theme, here it is. The first step is obviously back up your website or you can also use a staging environment. The second is taking screenshots of your current setup. So make sure to take screenshots of all the important pages. That can be the home page, the widget areas, menus, any other customized sections you have. That is the reference point that you will need to have when you use the new theme. And obviously the next step is to find the, uh, the theme of choice and research it. We recommend the Sydney theme. Make sure to check out. I'll leave a link uh, in the description of this video. And once the new theme is activated, here's what you need to do. You of course need to reconfigure all your widgets. So make sure to go into your appearance settings, widgets, and I already demonstrated how to find it in the customizer and make sure to configure your widgets properly and assign them in the right areas. You might need to change your menus or reassign your menus depending on how you want to configure them. So make sure to check out your menus and make sure the menus are appearing in the right locations. Make sure to reconfigure your homepage because most of the time the homepage is specifically designed with a specific theme in mind. So changing a theme will definitely change the homepage. So make sure to check it and customize it and redesign it if needed and also check the essential pages. 
So if you have a blog post page, if you've created some essential pages where a contact form is done, make sure to double check, triple check if all of that is functioning correctly. And then address any broken elements, of course, because as I said, if you have a theme dependent functionality on your website, then changing theme might break that functionality. So you make sure that all the essential functionality of your website is working before you say that, hey, the migration is complete. Now we don't need to do anything else. And that's the exact steps you need to take to migrate your theme. Make sure to check out all the links in the description. I'll be leaving links to Sydney theme that we definitely recommend. Also for duplicate, if you want to back up your website before you upgrade your theme. And some of the essential links are also in the description of this video. If you still have any questions about how to upgrade your theme, then definitely let us know in the comments. Otherwise, a like, share and subscribe is recommended and welcome. You're watching Yuvraj from WBeginner and I'll catch you in the next video.